This Friday has been rather wet around the wire grass. Not the best day for outdoor activities. Now in the evening hours, conditions have been improving. The radar mainly clear. Most of the rain is down in the panhandle and a little bit further to the west. What the general movement has been from the west to the east. You can see the activity that's in Jackson County starting to weaken a bit. Heavier rain, Marianne and southward, but it's starting to become just like to moderate rainfall. Now another batch of rain is possible as we do go into the later evening and overnight hours. Some stronger storms. Uh, just to the north of Mobile, actually near Citronella, severe thunderstorm warning at the moment, and this will be drifting in our general direction. But most of the rain for the weekend will be picking up as we head into the day tomorrow and through the day on Sunday. We did have some pockets of some heavier rain earlier in the day. Last 24 hours, the radar estimating uh, nearly six inches of rain, if not more, for many locations. More of us will see heavier rain as we do head into the weekend. Stronger storm in Pike County dropping about two inches just to the east of. Troy. Now, as far as the heaviest rain that is expected to fall in the panhandle, do have a flash flood watch in place for tonight, and I think that will extend through the weekend as well, simply because there will be a little bit more Gulf moisture to work with as the storms roll through. Where the rain has been heavier, temperatures still on the cooler side 76 right now for Bonifay, 80 for us here in Dothan, 77 for Enterprise, so pretty comfortable as far as the actual air temperatures, but the humidity levels are increasing. It is going to be a stickier night out there. Temperatures just cooling off into the lower to middle 70s, maybe even upper 70s for many locations this evening. Now, as far as the storm system that we are watching, we have an area of low pressure in the lower Mississippi Valley and the Ohio Valley as well, and that's helping all the moisture to come in off the Gulf of Mexico. And it's really going to be until this exits us to the east going to next week is when conditions will begin to dry out again. We're still behind up where we should be for a rain fall this year so we can use every drop we can get. So this is going to be very beneficial as we head into the weekend. We do have the chance of having a few stronger storms, mainly down in the panhandle, maybe Dothan and southeastwardly. Gusty winds will be the main threat upwards of 50 miles per hour, maybe a little bit more with some of the stronger storms as they roll through the area and also that risk of heavy rain at times. So be aware if you're going to be driving around the region, especially down in the roadways and uh, the panhandle counties. Now as far as tonight, our models projecting that we'll see a pick, uh, increase in that activity later on and then first thing tomorrow morning, maybe some heavier rain with some thunderstorm activity and then on and off through the day. Once we get that daytime heating, we'll have some redevelopment of thunderstorms, so it's not going to be a complete washout all day long. Just be prepared for those passing showers and storms throughout the day, and that's going to be the case as we head into Sunday. It looks like areas say central and Alabama and into the river region staying mainly dry in the early part of the day, and then just like us, we'll be picking up with that activity in the later part of the day for Sunday. Tonight, 74 degrees for our low temperature here in Dothan. If it does um, stay a little bit more humid, which it likely will for some of us that temperature will be a little bit higher and then in the 80s for tomorrow afternoon breezy at times with those storms rolling through the area upwards of 10 to 15 miles per hour for us so that's enough to move your vehicle around or maybe push the trees around a little bit with the rustling of the leaves and then on Sunday those rain chances begin to taper off a little bit and then certainly as we head into Wednesday Thursday and Friday just a few isolated showers or storms but mostly sunny skies over